Hey, I'm Corrine Levy. And I'm Jason Parker, this week's guest host. And welcome to Rumor Has It, the show where we round up the week's biggest tech rumors. And vote on what sounds legit and what seems like it just won't happen. And remember that you can vote on all of the rumors too, so keep your eye out for the poll in the interactive player if you're watching on CNET. First up, a rumor that just won't die might finally be put out to pasture. Last week, Facebook sent a rather cryptic invite that said, come see our new home on Android on April 4th. According to TechCrunch, sources familiar with the matter have said that the social network plans to debut an HTC smartphone that runs a modified version of Android's OS and uses built-in native Facebook functionality. I thought we already had a Facebook phone. Right, but that was the HTC Cha-Cha and the Salsa, which have little Facebook buttons that take you directly to the Facebook app. But this phone will take it a step further by better integrating Facebook's messaging, photos, and contacts features. I'm not sure I want all that. Sounds horrifying. It does, but then it also sounds awesome, so I've probably been brainwashed. Congratulations, you're a Facebook zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, another phone rumor, sort of. Longtime Microsoft employee Charlie Kindle joined Amazon to work on a secret project, according to his LinkedIn profile. One of his roles at Microsoft was general manager in charge of rallying independent software developers to its Windows Phone platform. His hire at Amazon could stoke more speculation that the online retail giant is readying a mobile phone of its own. Or maybe they just hired him because his name is Kindle, you know, like Kindle. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> anyway, according to his LinkedIn profile, he's building a new team going after a totally new area for Amazon. Sounds like that fabled Amazon phone to me. Ugh. Next up, a new report from Pocket Gamer says Apple is once again said to be planning the release of a game controller. According to the report, Apple booked rooms using a pseudonym to hold secret meetings at the Game Developer Conference last week, and that the device could be unveiled sometime next month. Don't most iOS games already have touchscreen controls? Yeah, but you have to admit there's no substitute for the tactile experience of a controller, especially on first-person shooters or even sports and dungeon crawler type games. Yeah, but are you going to be holding a controller with your iPad propped up in front of you? It seems like it's more trouble than it's worth. Agreed, but I guess I'm hoping for an Apple TV tie-in where games can be played anywhere. Or maybe it would mimic the Razer Edge, allowing you to dock the iPad and have physical buttons and shoulder triggers. That might be cool. What do you guys think? Is Apple planning a gaming controller? What would you like to see in it? Don't forget to vote and leave us a comment and we'll check in with the CNET Council. The CNET Council is composed of five editors who cast their votes anonymously. Their opinions are not an endorsement by CNET or CBS Interactive. Obviously because these are rumors, folks. And the CNET Council's verdict is... An almost unanimous no. Four out of five editors don't think Apple is developing a controller. One editor says yes, but says it's debatable about whether they'll actually release it. That's our show, everybody. Please share your rumors at rumorhasit at cnet.com or call us at 1-800-750-CNET and tweet us. And thanks to Jason, this week's co-host. Tune in next week for more tech rumors. <laughs>